the moment you create your chart, you may have to make certain changes. That's because every chart you create in Power BI is going to come with some preset defaults. So for you to make the changes, you have to ensure that first of all, you have the chart selected. And the reason I'm saying this is because if you have to click anywhere outside of the visual, so maybe if I click like an empty area on the canvas like this, we see that the chart is no longer selected, right? So, and if I want to format this visual now, I'm going to make sure that I select the chart first by clicking somewhere inside the chart. You also have to be careful when you want to select the chart because you don't really want to click inside any of the bars, which I refer to as the marks. You don't really want to click on any of the marks in the chart because clicking on the mark in the chart is more or less like selecting something then you may likely see some unusual behavior so what you want to do is to just find an area that doesn't have any mark on the chart to click on that for you to have the chart selected now once you have selected the chart like this you can now go ahead to format the reason we may want to format our charts is because we want to change some preset defaults and the defaults are typically based on the chart elements. Chart elements are simply anything that you can see on the chart, right? So for example, I see a title, that's a chart element. I see the name of regions, that's another chart element. I see some bars, those are chart elements. In fact, the blue color is a chart element, right? So if you want to make changes to any of these things, then you will come to your visualizations pane once you have the chart selected. And then you are going to click on the second icon on the visualization pane. When you hover on it, you will see the name is Format Your Visual. So you click on that icon. Then you are going to see two tabs. One says Visual. The other one says General. Majority of your formatting requirements are going to be done from the Visual tab. One way for you to look at the difference between the Visual tab and the General tab is that the visual tab usually contains formatting options that have things to do within the chart. And again, most of those things within the chart are things that are actually driven by the data. So for example, this West, East, Central and South, they are coming from the data. These bars basically are representing the sales numbers that are coming from the data. This region you see here is something that is also coming from the data. Even this sum of sales technically is coming from the data because the sales column is what we are summing here, right? So majority of those things are what you will find on the visual tab of the formatting, while the other things that are not necessarily data driven, or they are things that are outside of what you can see inside the visual are the options that you are most likely to find on the general tab so if i go to the general tab for example i'm going to see something called properties if i expand the properties you will see it has to do with the height and the width of the chart it has to do with the position of the chart also those are the kind of things i can change here you will also see option for title you will see options for effect and so on and so forth but like I said, once again, majority of the things you want to format are going to be on the visual tab. And that's where you get to see things like the Y axis, which is the vertical end of the labels in your chart, while the X axis, which is the horizontal end of the labels in your chart, then you get to see how you can um, format the grid lines that you see in the chart. They are really very tiny and some other options as well.